Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsunzan campaign. We pick things up for episode 30 from turn 138 in the winter season of 217. So, um, we are probably going to end the series in this episode. The Kingdom of Shuhan has three pieces of land left, and um, we're going to be taking that capital seat pretty quickly. The more difficult one is reaching the Kingdom of Zhou. Now, we are probably looking at four turns of movement, maybe five turns to get there. That's the only thing that's slowing us down. Like, these are all very simple battles. Yeah, these are all pretty much straight delegate battles. And since it's unlikely that Guojia will actually get high enough level to get our White Horse Fellows, we're gonna give him White Horse Raiders. Just to speed things along. Alright, let's see. Who hasn't moved? Ooh, so Liu Bei actually has a stack here. But I'm curious, did he not protect the capital? Why is the full stack over here? But we'll be fighting this. I think we have to actually fight this. I don't think they'll let us delegate this. Nope. Um, it's a bunch of low quality units we have to shoot. There's two good units in this entire army. Uh, which is really sad but yeah let's kill them alrighty so let's take a look here they're high enough levels so that they get some towers that doesn't really matter um curious if they will charge out or not maybe they will uh, three elephants good enough for the music entertainment that we will have on this battle let's see let's put these guys out there they have the art. Okay, we have fire arrows. That's good. They don't have anything special, so we'll just put them over here. Play the right song. Pound them. Yeah, they're not going to charge out, so we're going to have 11 shots. That's not a lot, actually. Um. I'm hoping some shots will just miss and knock out a tower for us. I mean, we have fire arrows, so that's the backup plan. Oh, it's snowing, isn't it? All right, it's not going to spread as easily. Oh, well, we're going to have to hope for two misses then. All right, let, let's aim for one. We don't have that many shots. There we go. Now over here. Hmm? Okay, stop. Aim for some of these melee calves. I think that's probably the only unit that our archers will have trouble with. Aside from that, I think we're fine. There's another melee cab over there. Let them run across. about a shot over here. Yeah, these are spear warriors, not spear guards, so we don't have to worry about that. So they're done. Elephant to move up to an area where he can provide the boost. And then we're going to have our best archers go up first with the range advantage. Any dueling? Oh. Silver weapon. Hmm. We'll come debuff for him. Let the archers do some shooting first. Is the elephant? Okay, move the elephant up a little. I mean, he's winning without it, but... Stab in the face. Okay. Move it up. Oh, get on your horse first. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 stay on your horse. Ah, misclick. Uh, 
out of my way. Almost out of ammo. All right, you guys come up. I let them move up. You guys slowly move up too. Break that. See if I can lead that cavalry into running into some of their own wooden stakes for us. Or we can have Gong Sun do most of the running down on the wooden stakes. Back them up a little. Let's call them three. Oh, they just routed. It must be the scare from the weapon. Causing the morale hits. Smash. Hmm. We're kind of deep, but I think we'll be okay. We might lose a lot of health, but there's probably only one more big battle waiting for this army. Taking their capital. I'm betting they put the oil puddle here. See if I can take advantage of that. Oh, it's not here? Hmm. Maybe the other door then. Okay, then in this case, I'm just gonna go capture this, force them all back. Yeah, we're just gonna let the archers do their thing. Oh, we're already dismounted. Okay. I mean, it's fine. If more people come towards us, we can smash. We'll save it. Like, this group's all gonna get killed. Demoralize. Are we surrounded? Yeah, I think we're pretty surrounded. There we go. We're wavering. Hmm. Yeah, getting knocked off is really bad. Maybe it's time to come in. There's still a lot of spear units though, so... I'm not a fan of that idea. Ooh, we got some strong units on us. And some cavalry charging back. Right, so he's routing. We'll let him route. It's fine. Can we kill these? AR is like, they're coming at us. Oh, he bounced back. Just move out of the way. Ooh, armor debuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do we cause fear by any chance? Oh yeah, we, we scare people. Okay. Oh, we can solo that, I'm pretty sure. You guys, go fight these for us. <laughs> now he's running away. Hmm, too many routing troops, they're kind of blocking the traffic here. Are we that slow on foot? We're 40 speed, they're 38. We're gonna route again. Let me do my ability. Let me roar. Oh my god, it's so hard to chase over there. There's our chance. Smash after you choke someone to death. And then do the roar. Might as well do the roar first. routed again, but we did our damage. Oh, here comes. Alright, they routed. I'm over here too. And we'll just hang out in the back. We bounce back again. I mean, this should be over now. They just have a lot of units. Hmm. This this annoying. Okay, we're getting that chain route here. Like, they're so crowded, they can't really shoot. That's a problem with archers. There's no space. They can't, they can't line up to shoot. Man, they're holding on well against us. Run them over. Yeah, this is just a mass route over here. Here comes elephants. Oh, there's spikes on the ground. Oh, look at that tossing protector heavens around. That's our victory. Not bad. Elephants didn't all die this time. Alrighty. Nineteen imperial favor. That's a lot. Um. Ooh. Liu daughter, I think, got burning trait. Almost is on level up? Level 9. Okay. Um, I can make himself stronger. I can give... He already has scare from his weapons. That's kind of redundant. Guerrilla deployment for his group. Extra charge. Probably extra charge. Armor piercing damage? Hmm... Yeah, it's not what we tend to have. Let me get the charge. Taurin? Join Liu Bei. Huang Zhong's still alive. I mean, he's not that old. He's just 70. Wait, Lu Xun. Liu Xun, yeah. It's that eye. That sneaky little eye. Um, I know we have burned officers. We're going to put them out here to help us. I think she's one. And we know we just got one, so we can summon him next turn. And I think that's it. I think we'll have two.
I mean, let's see. We don't need units on her, but we can. I mean, we can bring a couple of seed weapons to a siege. Nothing against that. Alright, there we go. That's gonna be a fight. Uh, let's take more land, because why not? Maybe they can go reinforce for that fight as well. Alrighty. I think maybe it's time to get that to help the replenishment. Our southern army. Just clean up duty. I guess nowhere to retreat. I mean, technically, there, there's somewhere, but. I guess she didn't consider that a valid path. We're gonna finally get our hand on the weapon craftsman over here. Oh, it's defended. Ah, our ventures north. Well, I'm not gonna let them. Sail around. I mean, it's a bad delegate value, but this army, we don't need it anywhere anymore. Like, we're fine. Ah, why did you bring a weapon? That's how you get killed. He has a great retinue, but he wasn't willing to work for us. Someone might replace it. Alright, time to sink that ship. Let's see if we can land. Prefer not to stay in the water. And Lord Jin's faction is destroyed. Okay. Uh, we can just reach, apparently. Hmm. Kind of dangerous. Oh, we. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of taking it. Guess we can't. Kind of dangerous with this army hanging out here, but. They have what? Two good units? Three good units? This doesn't count. I mean, it's good. It's just not that good. They can't really touch us here. I mean, if they take it, we retake it, right? That's the plan. We'll take that next turn. No point to stand in their territory. Alright, another chance to capture uh, Gunnel over here. Might not work, but we'll give it a shot. Zero percent. Yeah, not gonna work. Send him back to his faction. Maybe he'll defend the capital. Okay. Oh, Li Ru is also here. Let's throw Liru into this army. Got a heavy sea down cavalry, and then we'll throw the burn officer in here next. Hmm, repeating crossbowmen. 
I guess we could keep that. Oh, actually, he's high enough level to go heavy cav. Right. So, since we have all this... Hmm, that's level 5. It's not bad. Yeah, we'll do this. going tall. I mean, it's kind of pointless at this point. And pain's coming to an end, so going tall now, I'm not going to see that benefit. Or, I mean, for some commander, I got to upgrade twice to get that to the next building slot, so it's a little different. Um, State workshop, must have over here. Well, must have everywhere, pretty much. No more build slots and also no more cash. Okay, let's uh I think continue. There's not yeah, no spies. And once again, they don't want to fight anymore, but I mean we can pick up Torin. Oh man. Uh, no, reject. This is total war, it's ruining all these moves. Okay, so they are gonna take the farmland, go for it. Only got two armies around them. Or I think one's close, other one isn't. Okay. Oh yeah, died. Jotai got trustworthy. Alright. I don't think we have enough movement to actually get there. And to grab the other burn officer. Liu An An. I'm gonna move them up to. We're probably gonna let them leave the assault. Because I'm not moving all these siege weapons from the reinforcement zone all the way to the wall. I'm pretty sure she's related to Liu Bei. Like the age, everything checks out, the name. I could start the siege, but why rush it? Gonna be next turn anyways. So those three are on top of that. This should be a delegate. Koron's army just like crumped up together next to the trade port. I don't know, they're trying to sail away or something? I feel like they're not even trying to defend. Ah, joy. Saving kids. Um, I mean, there's no way he has an army here with four armies here. So we take this from him. And, and then what? Like, where's Koron gonna go from here? Ooh, oh, you have Xun Yu. Ah, Zhao Yin picking up experience from Savior of the, Na uh, of the Nation. Um. Oh? I mean, they still have a bunch of land. We took a bunch of their land, but they still have a bunch. They kind of spread out where Zhang Yan used to be, and Zhang Yan kind of took where I used to be. So, kind of a flip-flop here. Oh, he's level 6. Nice. Uh, probably want that, just given the nature of the units he's having.
I guess no one's actually going towards him yet. We'll cut him off. Our son leveled up. Well, fire arrow is very nice here. Yeah, they're just stranded here. We got so many armies. I mean, guess we're going here. Yeah, we can reach that next turn. No one's even defending Chang'an. So I assume I can take this by myself. It's level 9, but yeah, we can take this by ourselves. So many death. Mm, I don't think I need to send anyone to babysit them. They should be fine. Although I do have to come through the bridge over here, so we're gonna bypass that. Oh, John, I got someone here. I can't reach. Make things a little bit interesting, or actually with two armies it's less interesting, but... Okay, they're sailing back. Mm, I'll do this. You'll keep falling. I just... Okay. Like, I, I don't know if I can delegate a win against them in the, in the water. I assume I can, given the quality of my units versus the quality of their units, but you never know. I guess it's time to find out. Or time for them to decide if they want to find out. Alright, that's all set up. This is our most important force. They have to keep moving. Um, so, we take this. Alright, this is no night battle. We probably want to give them all the garlic we have. Just to- oh, that's actually a heal item. Okay. Only marginal improvement. It's like 2% extra. We'll take the 2% extra. I doubt they'll mess with us. If they siege us and don't fight us, that'd be the worst move possible for us. Um, at this point, if you want to go there... It's 5 turns, or four, 5 turns, even if we don't do anything. Plus we have the... I mean... Uh, this terrain's just really bad. Yeah, it's going to be multiple turns for us to get there. There's nothing we can do about that. Oh, they're done. Okay, recall them. And we can maybe summon them in the northwest to help us speed up a little bit. I mean, the travel distance is just there. Even if we speed up like the settlement take time, it's still going to be slow. Um, oof, what do I need? Nothing really at this point. There's nothing that really directly help us. Oh, campaign movement range, but it's too late. It's two reforms away. Uh, I guess we can take this just to get the not only the spy branch of the marketplace, but also extra spy and all that stuff. That way we can try to implement our strategy of the double marketplace bug in uh, Changsha.
Ah, oh. nobody in the faction. Oh, we because we don't have points. That's right. They don't have a single interesting character in the faction. Maybe I can make the daughter betray him. Yep, that was simple. The heir is ours, and um, we could assassinate, do a lot of fun stuff, or improve relations. <laughs> uh, oh, she's not the heir. Wait, who's the heir? He's the heir. Oh, brother. Okay, we kill him. We assassinate the heir, and then we become the heir. Easy. Okay, that stuff is done. We have our proposals. Increase movement. Huang Gai's army. Not really important. Mm, none of this is report. I mean, there is an army in the water near this, so I guess this could help. Dong Zhou City. Or Kingdom of Zhou City. Yeah. Don't know which one exactly it is, but we'll do it. Trip bonus for our cavalry. Uh, sure. Seems like there's a Nama army nearby too. You guys are turning. Oh, Christ. Did they. That's right. They switched leaders. Now it's a different personality. Oh, he's still peaceful. What are, you, what are you trying to do then? You can't beat this. I mean, welcome to try. Um, I think that's it. Oh, that's the army. That's the army. They were offering a debuff. Well, Dili, uh, come on out and find you a couple friends. Those are nice units. You had you end up with the worst unit. What happened to you? Furia Bay High. These are some nice units. Okay, um, probably don't need siege weapons. They're not going on offense, so it's gonna give them our faction unique unit instead. I mean, since we're going all cavalry, except for one unit. Sit in, sit inside. Yeah, it's going to take them, I think, two turns to get to us. That's probably enough time to heal. Yeah, to a decent amount, plus the garrison. They can't touch us. Buildings. Let's see. We should save money for the capital move next turn. So I'm supposed to build this first, and then I'm supposed to demolish this, and then we can start another marketplace, apparently, which is an interesting bug here in the game. How much do I need to save? I need to save about 10k, but we're gonna fight, so that will make us money. Uh, 9k. Let's just keep it at this. Let's continue. Okay, so they jumped out. They they pleaded peace with us. I just cut it out because they do it every turn. Um, but they pleaded application with us. Now here, they are trying to hit our seed weapons before you know, so we can just retreat, and they're stuck right next to our main army. <laughs> All right, their turn to do some supplies. Yeah, but unless they retreated back, they're now in a terrible position. Yeah, they're right, right next to us. So they will end up setting up the siege. They might have to, we might cancel the siege, depending on if they can reach there or not. Not sure if they can or they can't. Um, not an impressive army by any means. I mean, I can do this and. Ah, oh, they ran. Okay. It looks like I might be actually able to have enough. Okay, so we'll, we'll find out. We'll break the siege. We should still be in range for reinforcement. Okay. So this army already retreated once. We're gonna remove them from the equation. 
Oh. Wait, we get the reinforcement, but they don't get it because they're being sieged. But I can just... Yeah, but if I do... Hmm. I mean, it's the same thing. I, I just kind of want to keep the trebuchets healthy, but I think they're going to be healthy even if we delegate. The casualty is not going to go on them. Yeah, I just want to clean them up so that when I lie on my seed weapons against their capital, I don't have to worry about reinforcement coming from behind us. Alright, of course we'll show this. The last stand of uh, Kingdom of Wuhan here. Alrighty, so it's all about the number of trebuchets we have in this battle. Uh, that's the whole reason we played this. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter which side we are on. We're gonna line up the entire side of the wall with trebuchets. Unfortunately, they're not fully replenished, so we're not going to get the maximum amount, but there's still a decent amount here. Yeah, not bad, I would say. We would probably want to first turn off everyone's fire at will. Ammo's at 18, not the highest, but not the lowest either. Oh, they have siege weapons too, on the wall. That's fine. I don't mind losing a couple siege weapons. I mean, this is the situation at hand. They're very accurate. We're gonna lose a bunch. That's just the way this is. Okay, very accurate there. Very accurate. Oh, that's very inaccurate. Why are we having so much trouble with that four tower? Well, I guess if one of the machine got knocked out, maybe they would have some trouble. 33%. Alright, that's on fire. Good job. Let me try to return fire here. Did we break these? Almost. There we go. Now try to break that. Let's see if we can do some damage against this. We're just gonna stop them and then the fire tell them fire will because all the target we want to hit already been hit. I need to pull our forces over here. Oh, that side's also kind of awkward. Mm, I don't want to siege new walls. I guess casualty here means nothing, so we maybe just crack a couple walls open. Oh, there's so many targets though. Who's over here? Oh, a bunch of strategists. Okay. What? How are we that disadvantaged? I can kill him. I know I can. Oh, 
我为敌，你会后悔的。大胆，竟敢对我口出狂言！We're gonna need a debuff for him, of course. Out of the way, we're doing. Oh, oil. Are you tuned to come here? You're still firing? How much ammo? One shot left? Okay. The units that are here. Let's see. Oh, we are losing really badly. Can you guys be any slower? Gonna use our range advantage, and these guys apparently has also not moved into position yet. Why am I not surprised? It takes so long to move them. You guys aren't that useful. Maybe I should just run you guys in, get you guys killed, and then we can get some other reinforcement units to show up. Why are you guys not firing anymore? No targets? There's there's clearly good targets. Like, how about this wall? How about you take care of this wall? And you take care of this wall. Why can't you fire? Yeah, there we go. You take care of this wall, you take care of this wall. Yeah, we want to hit the interior layer. Murder these. Oh, they're in position. Don't fire well. Um, we need a hole in the wall more than anything. Oh, they took out a tower. Good for them. We probably will open up something here. How's the suicide run going? There's only three of them, but they probably lost most of their unit on the wall, so that's why they don't feel the route. Do you have ammo? Okay, all the walls have crumbled. We're helping. Can you be? What? You didn't fire. There we go. 
All right, now you guys all route off the field. So I can get new units on the field. And why are you so in front? Who, who are the fire arrow guys? You two. Fire at that one. How are we doing on killing the towers? Good. Let's punch this one off. And then maybe maybe that one too. I know how accurate we are. Oh, we're very accurate. Okay. Over here. Moving up. Okay. That's good. Now that one. Actually, you no. Know, let's do fire. We just get rid of that one too. Then there's no more actual. Ah, uh, there we go. The new reinforcements we're looking for. Ah, two more siege weapons. What do you know? Move into position. Not on fire yet. There we go. Switch ammo, punch a hole here. Cavalry, get ready. this up for us too. Alright, we got shot by their ammo quite a bit too. That's fine. I mean, just because we have so much reinforcement coming in doesn't really matter that much. Come on. Nope. Oh, we can move up. Since I ran in first. Alright, we're in. Alright, those three died. They're gonna have to start pulling back soon.
All right, we're gonna ignore what happened to those guys. Not our problem. We're coming here for this. We're just sending them away. They're gonna turn around very soon. I'm gonna keep them here. Those towers kind of hurt, but that's okay. Maybe you guys can give them a shower here. Oh, we got elephants. Come on in. Man, last unit over there. Traveling through the cities, a difficult task. Oh, that's not where you want to be. The movement speed one? Yes, we do. Alright, he's down. That's ours. Uh, counter charge the cavalry. Not you, though. Mm, that's also suicide. Trying to get him to go there. Mm, you got in early. command smaller groups so that we have less of a traffic jam. Try to cut them out over here maybe. War on them. Keep them off this square. You guys fire some arrows. If not, then just come flank them. Doesn't matter if they're protector of heavens, we're just gonna charge them. They'll still take damage, even if we get reflected back some of that. Smash. Plus, all we wanna do is keep them away from the plaza. Uh, it's too late for them to make an impact. I mean, they could punch a hole, get those units in, but more realistic to ask them to maybe come help us. I mean, 42 seconds, all we need to hold on for, so we're almost there. 
Nope, you guys are not allowed on the plaza. Ooh, that's a nice dragon stature. It's a little bit too long for the Han Dynasty period. The Han Dynasty dragon is a little bit more like an actual creature, no tail, not the elongated dragon that's more popular during the So and Tong dynasties. I mean, 10% of our health right now, it's like almost nothing. We did it. Definitely not our prettiest victory. Not our most <laughs> falling down to. But we did it. The Kingdom of Shuhai is no more. They still have a faction because they still have one county left. But the Emperor seat is ours. So that's that. Um, we'll be executing these people. Empire dissolves, Empress seat captured, some extra money gained. No character yet, but maybe in future. I mean, if they wipe the faction, maybe it'll be easier, but I don't know if anyone's going to go to the iron mine. It's kind of far. We are getting sieged. There is no help on the way. And I'm just going to recall these guys because I don't need to hold on to this. They can take it. Um, what should we do? I should go closing on these guys. Yeah, instead of being so aggressive, I think all we do is do a little clean up here. Make sure our territories that we have are safe. We just need 95. And we can focus mostly on the west. It's like, what do you think you're going? Mm. The horse pasture is still tempting. We are going to change capitals once again. There we go. Just so that we can pass on the Empress Seed bonuses all the way around. Because I think you still retain it. And the new place will pick it up next turn too. Weaponsmith, I'm. I, I, oh no no, I still want it. Oh, he doesn't want it. He ran. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it's kind of suicide to stay here. And now he's just in the mountains. Yeah, what are we gonna do now? Ooh, actually we're not at war with. <laughs> that faction's like, yes, you declare war on someone we don't like. Aw, oh, don't slow us down over here. Okay, they at least didn't mess with us. So if we march... Right, that's probably our path. Hmm. I'm just gonna ambush. Let them come at me here in Chang'an. It's a good place to hide. This will be bait. Um. Meanwhile, we'll continue to weaken them. I mean, let me see, hold on.
Because I was thinking if they're willing to give it to us, we might just take it. <laughs> it's just kind of kind of tedious to walk three turns over. This one's clearly in the bag. Like it's not even close at this point. Let's see. Well, they don't really need to move anymore, but I guess we'll move down. We'll help this mess out. I'll just go here and ambush because I don't know what I mean if they team up and come at me it's still pretty pretty annoying here what else do we have well they didn't take the fishing port that could have been their opening but now without siege weapons they can't do oh they can take this yeah We should be enough in terms of defense. Okay, do we want to summon another army? Not really, because we're just going straight. Then if we're not taking any more land, then extra army doesn't help. I don't mind picking up a couple more spies if we can do that. We need more points. Wait, they have someone named Mama as well. We have someone named Mama as well. He's also family. And he's also turned. I mean, I think I'm just going to use his points to buff up that for her. And that's good enough. And I think we're just going to continue. Alright, I mean, they just want to become our vassal now. <laughs> we'll just keep rejecting. Oh, they're coming for the Silk Trader. They can have it. This was just a stepping stone. I mean... Oh, the terrain's just this bad. Great. And we bumped into an army. Two more turns. As for other 19 armed forces, they have encamped. They have spread out. They have taken it. Mm. A bit suicidal. Hmm. That's very annoying. There's no garrison there. Or it's very, very small. Because they just took it. Yeah, there's no garrison yet. We'll go take this. Not 
大义将领，莫敢不从。吾等大义必将降临此城。I mean, Corn just lost all his territory. I think we're just gonna backspace ourselves and just sit here with them. Be like, you're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And that's where we're gonna be for the rest of the game. Yeah, they can't win the delegate in the water, so I'm not that worried about that. I don't think they can, they're like combined together, they're not even strong enough against us. How did they slip by? And where did this army come from? All these questions. Um, I mean, we're still probably more interested in wiping out factions. They can suicide back into this, I guess. Or they might be able to retake it, depending on how healthy the garrison is. Ah, it's, it's pretty healthy. We'll take this. Ooh, poison arrow. He's the embezzler, right? We'll take the port. I mean, with this port, I think we actually sell up, but we wouldn't be any. I mean, oh, we can't. This, yeah, you have to have this fishing port to be able to sell this part. Yeah, that's rough. I guess we're still bait. You guys, feel free to come over here. Zhang Liao, what are we gonna do with you? We're stuck on the mountain, nowhere to run, so this battle will just wipe you. We're level 8. There's at least some capture chance. Let's see what happens here. Come on, capture! Ah, not the one we're looking for. Lu. But she's old, she's not Lu Bu's daughter or anything. We'll just release. Oh, we probably have to turn back. Although that's not I guess I guess we wanna get the yeah, let's go get the horse pasture. Let's ignore the army. We we'll lose some land, we we'll lose some land. As long as we net ninety-five, we're fine. And we're also not gonna build anything. So just the army movements. They backed off. They know they can't beat this. Let's continue. Oh, Gonsundu is sneaking a farmland. Take it. I mean, pretty much all the AI faction has given up. Gonsundu is one of the few who's actually still doing something. Oh, Kuai Yue. Hmm, didn't expect you to offer your services to us, but we're not going to be needing them. I don't know what's up ahead, so I'm gonna first change stance. Hey, there's no one home! End turn. And we're gonna lose parts of Anding. I think it's a tool maker. It's fine, and they're sieging the other place. They're basically playing catch up to us, but we're already at their capital. Oh, failed ambush. The yellow turbans. 
Okay. Alrighty. The old turban as a faction has emerged. <sighs> we got ourselves a Lord's Will. Okay. Good item pick up on the last turn of the game. Turn 143, winter season of 218. We take the last Emperor seat. And this is Total War for Gong Sun Zan is officially complete. Zhang 所谓天下大事，分久必合，天子知成天命，顺天而至，圣朝厚德，国作永延。Alrighty, and uh, we have achieved final victory here. So if we take a look at some stats, oh, Zhao Yun's definitely MVP. I mean, Yan Mahu's right up there, right? Zhao Yun fought more fights because he was basically defending our entire border by himself. 28 years of service, uh, best duelist is ourself. Although I think Zhang Fei had a good run at the end and just got him a bit too late. Yan Bai Hu killed the most uh, or notable character. I guess he might not be the one who killed the most, but 5.8k, not bad. A lot of poison volley kills. They don't even count if they died of poison, so should be a little bit higher than that. Um, we have a lot of characters. We, we, tend, we went on a recruiting streak near the end. 111. We lost quite a few near the end as well. There was a couple we gave up throughout as well. Pretty good in population. I think the most difficult part about this campaign right now on patch 1.7 is the fact that faction council from every single faction uh, is a tad too strong. Uh, I think we got pretty lucky in terms of getting schemed by Cao Cao's faction. He didn't scheme us that much. We got schemed maybe like twice and it's not anything too major. Aside from that, not too bad. I mean, we didn't get you know a ridiculous amount of reforms. We even with the 50 turn delay, I feel like we ended the game in a relative average time that we typically end campaigns on. Um, we sped it up. I mean, once you have 18, 19 armies running around, it's pretty quick. Um, so it wasn't a slow campaign. So we end up only with 28 reforms, 28 years. So that's that. We didn't get to do too much there. Population being pretty high at the end is pretty amazing considering how much reserve we lost throughout. But once we start kicking enemy armies out of our land, they can't use that one on us. We made deals? Question mark? Right? W what deals did we make other than we declare war on you? I guess that's, that's a deal. Uh, rejected by us, so many. Deals rejected by others, 2k. Okay, much more than us, I guess. We broke a deal. Oh, right. I see what this is. This is the turn one, like, non aggression pack with Gong Sun Du. And then we declare war, so we break it. So we're, we're quite honorable, right? This is one of the few trustworthy runs because we can't really do anything untrustworthy. We destroyed 11 factions, currently in 19 wars, most 24, 14 war declarations. It's, it's a lot more than that. There's some math. Wrong. I mean, like, some factions declare war on us, I guess, so I guess that counts. Our income from trade, zero. Our income from diplomacy, which is not listed here, also zero. Pretty much everything from taxes, a little bit from post-battle loot. Um, it doesn't feel like a lot, it's still mostly taxes, but it, it definitely helped. I mean, he has that 50% bonus faction-wide, or 25, 25%. It, it definitely helps a little. And uh, highest ever income, 123k, <laughs> expenditure, 3.3 million total. Unit recruited, a ton of unit recruited. We replaced a bunch of units too. We had fun with spies. We got a couple free um, commanderies with spies. We 
uh, broke up a ton of families with spies, and we got a decent amount of unique generals despite the fact we are very limited with diplomatic options, can't annex, can't confederate, um, can't peace out when we want to peace out. A lot of troops dying. Do they hero 84 hero I mean Jogins 64 hero wins right here. <laughs> yeah, but that one's pretty fun. Um moving forward, we're gonna be playing Ludra's campaign starting tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be very standard in terms of playstyle. We're not gonna do anything gimmicky, there's not gonna be any challenges. Um, we're gonna be focusing on the lore of the 20 books that he has to collect as his faction. We'll probably talk about a book per episode. Um, probably going to go in chronological order based on when the books were written. Um, it's quite a interesting collection of books that the game designers decided to give him. Uh, they're all great classical texts. Uh, some are in different fields, medicine, geography, politics, history, and so forth. We'll talk about all of that. There will be no looping in the new campaign. There will be no encampment. I think the encampment trip, the empty fort, is never going to be used again. Like... This is just for this is total war. It's just too broken, and it's something that you know we discovered from um, the co-op experience. Actually, like we discovered it when we lost Yuan Shao at the battle in the Gate Pass. Then we realized Gate Pass battles and um, encampment battles you cannot draw if you're on the attacking side. If you don't win, you lose, and that's pretty much what makes the Empty Force so strong. So all you need is an unbreakable general, you drag it out to a draw, and you get a win. And because you only have one general, it's always heroic, which gives the enemy crushing defeat. That's minus 30 satisfaction. If they get two crushing defeats, minus 45. The second time is only 15 for some reason. But, you know, add that together, you can get turncoats really easily. It's just really, really strong. Um, but we're going to refrain from using that, because that is a pretty strong exploit in the game. Um, other than that, I think we're going to be playing very normal. And we're going to go kill some yellow turbans. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And see you guys tomorrow. Bye.